Well, here we go. Time to turn you off, you son of a bitch. Uh, now this is a straight shot to the Aurora. <gasps> oh my god, I just made the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Oh yeah, the rocket's made specifically for this scenario, right? For me to pilot it. Of course. That's exactly what we want to do is launch the rocket up, turn it around, and crash right back down into the planet. is up people i'm igp and welcome back to subnautica last episode we finally met the love of my life the sea emperor leviathan she is amazing people we hatched her youngin and uh we also got cured from the bacterium we are clean as a whistle and now what we can do what we've been waiting to do for a very long time if you guys are still enjoying subnautica let me know in the comment section below and let's begin First things first, we gotta follow these babies. Oh, we actually didn't read the baby thing, did we? Sea Emperor Juvenile. The Juvenile Emperor Specimen. It is producing a highly potent form of Enzyme 42, which should be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. This species hatches relatively fully formed and independent, perhaps reflecting the fact they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. This specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. Fantastic. You did a good job. Also, we do know she is, uh, she's not going to be with us much longer. Anyway, let's continue on. Hey, more enzyme. Through the gates. How come the peepers aren't going anywhere? What the hell? Woo, the babies. Look at those babies. Reaper? No, I don't think so. Asshole, you stay down there. These are my babies. They're spitting out all kinds of the cure, dude. Look. I can't scan it. I wish I could. Oh, you guys are so happy. Oh, my goodness. You're so cute. Shut up. You're ruining the moment with my babies. You know how that one PDA said that uh, life forms need, like, genetic material from another, not necessarily, like, you know, semen and such to fertilize. These eggs were already fertilized. But I introduced my hand, and they hatched. These are my babies. I am Daddy IG Papa. I don't feel like they're safe. I might have to fight this reaper. I'm just kidding. I can't take kidding me. I can't fight that stupid reaper. All right, let's go up. Here we are back at the uh, quarantine enforcement platform, the QEP or also known as the gun. This is the thing that shot down the Aurora, the Degassi, and now the Sunbeam. <gasps> Wait, I could break into this dude. I can get this gun. I'm telling you. I wonder if I can poke through this one up here. Will it just blow up? <laughs> Will we die? Will it detonate? It was a bomb, right? Or was it not a bomb? Was it just something that contained a lot of power? <laughs> Nothing. I actually have no idea why I'm still in my exosuit. Should probably just get out of that. Well, here we go. Time to turn you off, you son of a bitch. Well, that was scary as hell. All the lights go off and you hear the gun roar like it's alive or something. Can you imagine? Like, maybe we'll never know, but imagine like in their world, it actually is alive. Like machines can live in the same sense that they can. Can you imagine that? Dude, that would just, that's nutty. All right, well, we deactivated it. We needed to because we got to get off this planet. And as long as this thing was active, Nothing we can do. Holy crap, it's dark. Dude, I have no idea how close that thing is. Why are you still hunting me? I'm clean, I promise you. It's like a probation officer. Oh boy. One of the worst sights in this game. My girl. My poor girl. I'm so sorry. Can I put you out of your misery? No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, terrible. Well, the next step is for us to figure out how the hell we're gonna get off 
of this planet. Now that we're free to do so with the gun being deactivated, we gotta go find out how to do that. Now, I don't remember if it actually was sent to me, but I'm gonna check real quick. Yes, it was sent to us. We'll listen to it again. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just gonna have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's we're computer. Sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. Regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, the if code... I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would well, you just say ham and cheese? Ham and cheese. Okay. <laughs> So I know I've, I've heard that before, obviously, but I can't remember if I've actually gotten that in this playthrough. Apparently I did. I must not have paid attention or maybe I did mention it. I don't remember. Either way, that was Neebs Gaming, believe it or not, if you didn't already know that. And uh, so yeah, two, wait, was it two, six, seven, two, six, seven, nine is the code. We got to go back to the Aurora and go to the captain's quarters. So we're on our way there now. Quick pit stop. I got to get some water in me. So... Should be some bulba trees around here, right? Yeah. Alrighty. We are full of seeds. Let's move on. That's right. You go limp. You don't deserve to be erect. Uh, now this is a straight shot to the Aurora. <gasps> oh my god, I just made the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Get away. Holy crap. I was literally mid-sentence trying to say, well, it's a straight shot, but likely we're gonna run into a Reaper beforehand. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Regain your jump. Okay, we're gone. Well, hello there, people. We made it safely. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Why would you still be attacking me? Why? I'm not infected anymore, you idiot. Uh, no. No. Where have I gone? Okay, bulb. Bulb zone. Whew. Okay, I think... The Aurora's over here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Please! Please stop doing that, you son of a bitch. I think it's this way, yeah. Uh, that's over there. Uh, uh, let me get on top of this reef back. If I can. Dang it. I just missed it. Hello. Goodbye. I think I got him. Is he dead? <laughs> That's actually really- What? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm quite damaged. I need to fix this. Three, repair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Okay, I hear two reapers. It's a beautiful sound, but something about it just makes me want to run away. Is this the Aurora? We're getting up close to it, right? Uh, okay. I don't see it. I'm just gonna go. Going. <gasps> going! No! No, no, no. Uh, yeah. Okay, he got loose. Wait, he's been loose. I set him loose, remember? All right, he doesn't see me. I actually have not had to fight a Reaper at all uh, since I started playing. Oh, son of a, he sees me, doesn't he? Back up, you are no match. You are no match. I'm dead. I'm dead! No! God, back up! Dude, he wasn't attacking me! I am so lucky! He wasn't attacking me! He attacked the freaking stalker! Dude, that was nuts! Okay, what do I do now? Uh, because my exosuit is kind of stuck here? Let's see if I can get through this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Stand here. Where's the top? Hello? S no! Leave me alone, please. You should be dead. You should definitely be dead. Holy crap. Isn't it supposed to be darker down here? All right, I think it's up here. Let's go. Whoa! This is not at all where I'm supposed to be. Is there another entrance, though? Because I could do that. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, we got to go up a little bit further. Wait, where the hell? Oh, it's up there. Oh, I see. Oh, come on. I fell through that. Seriously. Ah, okay. Here we go. 
Stay away, please. Back up top. Back up top. Yes. Okay. Now we're good. Now I dare these stupid little spider bitches to attack me. Because you was going to die a horrible death. I can guarantee you that. Haha, <laughs> sniped. Now, can I fit through here? I think so. Yay. Aww. I gotta make sure we come back out this entrance. Let's go. Whee! Ow. That was painful. Prawn Bay. Okay, here we go. I like how that's still hot. Ugh. Prawn Bay. Then up to the living quarters. Captain. Captain, where's your room, please? Captain. Anybody? Captain. Cabin one. Uh, ah, cabin quarters. Okay. Two, six, seven, nine. Yes. Open that door. Ooh, girl. All right. Let's get the data terminal. <laughs> Wait, last recorded transmissions. Wait, what? And then the blueprints? Average long range transmission delay, eight hours. Opening last recorded transmissions. This is an emergency distress call. Aurora is on collision course with planet 4546B. Sending all available environmental data. Please respond with rescue solution out. This is Altera HQ. Attached to this message, you should find the blueprints for an escape ship that we calculate will be capable of breaking orbit and getting you back to the nearest phase gate. Now, it's designed to use materials you can find and sit you, but it's gonna need one hell of a power source. Now, we'll be sure to... Aurora Long Range Communications, really, offline. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so vehicles, uh, Neptune escape rocket. Here we go. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. This blueprint set was developed at Altera headquarters specifically to get you off 4546B and back to the nearest phase gate. It takes into account local gravity, astronomical data, and available resources, and is piloted by AI. It may be adapted to employ whatever power source is available, but it will require a lot of it. It consists of five independently constructible elements. Launch platform, uh, the gantry, stage one, stage two, and stage three, which is the cockpit, features one person life support, short range communications, adaptable power supply, orbital shielding, and onboard time capsule. Uh, warning, onboard AI will not launch if local threats are detected, like the gun. Uh, the use of alien materials to power the craft may increase its range in unpredictable ways. That's nuts. Which means we could just like basically spin around and come crashing back down to the planet. <gasps> Disinfected water. I thank you very much. Very important stuff to have on me. So now we have the blueprints to build a rocket. Well, it's going to take a lot. We just the launch platform first. Everything else is taken care of on that, on that thing itself. Aurora miniature. Very nice. I can't get out of here. Got a poster and abandoned PDA. Data download. Captain's log. Loading program. Uh, Craig McGill Simulator. <laughs> uh, Captain Hot Dog Hollister. Boreal 9. Normal. You are exploring a quiet alien backwater when the ship you arrived here in implodes. Uh, it must be the arachnid kidney poachers. Quick, what will you do? Search the crash site, farm alien plants is what we do. That's just what Craig McGill would do. After foraging for some hours, you have collected a number of potentially farmable foodstuffs which you will you sustain yourself with. Starwall eggs. Nice. That would be the whales, right? I don't know what I'm talking about. While the starwall eggs are nutritious, the life cycle of these vast space-fearing creatures is much too slow to sustain a farm, and besides, their mother is extremely angry with you. Accept your fate. Craig McGill shows there is no reasoning with a mother scorned. You are not so much torn apart as swallowed whole and disintegrated the atoms that you thought were you are gradually redistributed in service of the Star Wars continued survival. Would you like to continue? No. That is cool. I want to play this game. That sounds super fun. But why are they playing text-based games in the future like this? Why? All right. Well, we got it, though. What do we need to build that? Ah, <sighs> two titanium... Wow, that's really easy to build. That is extremely easy to build. So, I'm gonna head back to my exosuits, and then we're gonna kind of take a, a step back real quick because there's something I haven't done yet. As part of this game, they give you a pet. They hint at having a pet. In fact, I have two of them sitting in eggs currently in a locker back home. 
Which means that I need to hatch them. Because as you may know or may not know, we get to interact with those pets. And us uh, using this rocket to leave might make them upset. And I, for one, am all for disappointing my pets. All right, I'm back. And we... Whoa, 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 whoa. No, come on, jump, jump, jump. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh my God, I'm dead. I'm dead. Don't fall through. Please don't fall through. Oh my God. As I was saying, I will see you guys back when I get to our base. We got to go back down to the lava. Super quick though, at the mountains, there are the, uh, oh, I can't talk. There's a teleporter. It can get me right back there. There's also a teleporter in the bulb zone. That might be actually, that might be closer. All right, I made my jump and I'm gonna land on the reef back pretty hard. Oh, bam. Jump to the next one. Look at this. I don't even have to touch the ground. This is actually kind of amazing. Whee! <laughs> this is so awesome. All right, anyway, yeah. I'll see you guys back when I get to my Cyclops. All right, we're back in the primary containment facility. I'm gonna gather a bunch of these because I know eventually I'm gonna need a whole lot. Thank you. Let me check this. All right, I got plenty of room. No problem. Look at the Aurora miniature, dude. That's so cute. Give me the power. Good Lord, come on. How long does it take? Thank you. Good God. All right, that's enough for me. Have fun rebuilding for another freaking hour. Oh no. All right, dragon. I'm no longer afraid. I don't even care. You want to kill me? Go ahead. Oh, there you are. What am I, good friend? How are you doing? All right, so he's probably gonna look at me and smile. Yep, there's that cute smile. Oh, and attack. Fantastic. Too many fireballs, dude. That's way too many. How did you produce that? I might have gotten hit. Did I get hit? No, I didn't. I'm perfect. What's up, dude? Whatever, dude. You're not scary at all. Stop it. No. Come on. Every time. It's pointless, dude. It's freaking pointless. He's right. He's right underneath me, isn't he? Woo! He does not like me. It's like he's chasing me away from his zone. Like he has a, a patrol zone or where he's set up. He just doesn't want anybody there. Holy crap. Ooh, perfect. Titanium. I actually need that. Oh, pick these up. There we go. Great, dude. I think we actually have enough to build that room now. That's literally all we needed. All right. So we need our builder. Do we have that? Yes, we do. Builder. And let's see. We got to build the aquarium, right? So six, eight titanium and five glass. I have enough quartz to make glass. Five of them, I think. Yep. And five. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Well, no, I got to build a hatch too. How much is a hatch? Quartz and two more titanium. Okay. Let me get that quartz. All right. So it is as simple as building a multi-purpose room right above here. Going inside. Oh, crap. Two things wrong here. I totally forgot that we don't have uh, any more. I don't have any lithium, so that sucks. Also, uh, my whole base is going to be destroyed. All right, power transmitter it is. Oh, wait, no, you can do it. Why, why would I need to make one? That's silly. Yes. Okay, finally. I can build two of them now. Whoa. Calm down. Jesus, what the hell? Oh, it's growing. Dude, that's crazy looking. Oh, crap. Crap. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There you go, baby. Use that up. Now I gotta fix you two. God, so dumb. Oh, crap. No! Wait, what? <laughs> How did I get 21 seconds of oxygen from that? Oh, my God. You've got to be kidding me. Hold on. Hold on a second. Yep, it gives me oxygen. Just leaving. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Devs, if you're watching, you should probably fix that. I should have died right there. I should definitely have. I definitely should have died. <sighs> there we go. Okay. Where's my alien containment? There you are. Build her up. We got work to do. Yay. Now we have an aquarium. We're going to put our little friends in there. Whoa. Do you see my speed? What is this? Did I get a power glide? What the hell? That is not normal. And now it's back to normal. Dang it. I should have left it. <sighs> me and my conscience. All right, little guys. Come with me. 
In fact, the Reginald can come too. Y'all can make some babies. All right. You guys hatch and you guys make babies. How about that? Hmm? <gasps> oh, these are cuties. Look at this. He's so cute. I can't wait to have them. Just so I could say goodbye to them in like the next hour. <laughs> well, that seed is officially planted. And I think that's a good point for us to pause it. Next episode, we'll take care of everything. It'll be the, the final one of the series. I hope you guys are as excited as I am to wrap this all up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else you would like to see in the next episode. I love you all, and I will see you in the final video. Bye-bye.